welcome back to the channel it is stephanie of geeky planning back at it again for another video hi hello how are you in today's video we have a haul um i didn't really think about how to intro this so we're just gonna go ahead and start off with the first shop but as usual i will have all the like icons on the screen showing whether this is purchased or gifted or whatever they were all purchased by me just fyi for all this stuff um and then all the shops will be listed somewhere like either on the screen or in the description box down below along with any coupon codes whether they are mine or not um also disclaimer i am kind of cold kind of weird to be cold to be H. um so i do have like my fuzzy monster blanket sweater on i might take it off honestly in the next like two seconds because now with the lights on my legs are cold but my body's really warm so we'll see how that goes uh, actually let me just take it off right now um yeah, we'll see how long it can last with that sweater. So because it's kind of chunky, clunky, getting in the way kind of a thing. But anyways, for the first shop we have, we have the wonderful, the lovely, the absolutely stunning Gafa with Anna. You guys already know that we are 100% fans of Anna on the channel. I will have both her shop, not her shop, um, her Instagram and her YouTube channel listed in the description box down below. Currently, she doesn't have like a site. Um, so she is just selling things on Instagram. So 10 out of 10 recommend following her on Instagram, checking out her stories, checking out any of her highlights for any updates on whether things are going to come back and such because like genuinely, I love this so much. I love this. So the first kit that I have to show you guys is Christmas Magic and it's like the Harry Potter Christmas artwork that I think was from last year or the year before. I could be totally wrong, um, but I love this and I am here for it. And so this is giving me like the first week of December kind of vibes. Like I have, I have an idea in my head. I don't know if it's actually gonna work out, but we're gonna try. Um, so this is the um, freebie that came with the kit. It's like just this really cute little tall box and I do get things on a premium matte. Um, and I does give the option of either premium matte or glossy because I don't know, I am a matte person. I love premium matte. Um, and then like Anna's double box is like the size of two full boxes instead of like that one and a half double box situation which I personally really love um so on to the kit itself like I love the traditional colors I love that it's like Harry Potter like when you look at it but you also like can just look at it and think Christmas if you're not like a super magical type of person also just a brief disclaimer J.K. Rowling is a turf and we do not agree with any of the things that she is saying um trans women are women that's the end of that to beach um so anyway so back on to this um like although i'm not a big fan of jk rowling um i do love the harry potter community itself and how accepting it is and all that stuff um and just again like the colors the magic the whimsy like the shelves goals in life is to have shelves and have them be as cute as that um and they have like the cute little sorting hat and then a bunch of little like harry potter knots here there everywhere and then these colors i love this and i think this is why this is giving me um like first week of December type fives is because like the very traditional type colorway is 100% my speed especially like the darker colors it's genuinely like what I want in life and I'm thinking maybe like a gold would look really cool with this I don't know if there's any accents yeah there's like little bits of like yellow and gold here there everywhere so I think a gold would be really cute but I also don't know so if you guys have any foil recommendations maybe this is gonna be a no foil spread I don't really know um but we have all of that so here are like the like first of the functional page where we have some square boxes some rounded boxes some boxes some labels and some little things and this page has the bottom washi and the day covers and i love a this bottom washi pattern is super stinking cute but i love that like anna splits the bottom washi for you so it's all ready um and you have like a cute little owl and it's just it's stunning it's gorgeous it's beautiful and then you have like the second page like the opposite version of this page which is, this is something that i haven't really mentioned but i like that the washi strips are different sizes like this is a thicker washi strip and this is a thinner one washi strip so in my head like the thicker washi strips are perfect to use as like labels if you wanted to put a foil script over top of it and then the thin washi scripts are cute like if you wanted to like take up space or have it be like in place of a header like you could just put this guy in there and then put a header overlay on top of it and it's just like a cute little divider for the day um no one really asked but i'm gonna say it anyways so there is that and this page has like some extra boxes some extra full boxes the 15 millimeter strip and then some extra boxes as well and the last page has my favorite things which are these squared off boxes and the decobix and flags we all know i love all of those and then like some functional stuff if you wanted to use this guy functionally so that is it for oh no my light just died Alrighty, we are back. So the next kit that I have is the holiday cheer kit. Um, and I love this. This is giving me very much so like I know I'm going to use this in January. I'm gonna use this in January for the week of January 6th. Because those of you that don't know, like I 
I don't know if I can say that I am Catholic because I'm not really Catholic, but I was raised Catholic. And so January 6th is Three Kings Day. I think it's more like a Mexican thing to be AG. So like that's the day that the Christmas tree comes down. And this is giving me like winter, either unpack everything or put everything away kind of a thing with like things being wrapped and the wrapping paper and like all that stuff. Like it's cute and it's Christmas, but it's more winter Christmas, if that makes any sense. So I'll be saving this one to use in January. And I'm so excited because you guys already know that I love to use Christmas like as early and as late as humanly possible um so that's when this guy's gonna be used and i i am excited i'm so excited and like i love the little pug i love the little wrapping paper i love the little sofa and like i think like also because it's giving me like cozy christmas and it's not necessarily christmas because it's just like happy holidays instead of like merry christmas kind of a thing um which i personally love because again i'll using i'll be using this for taking things down and celebrating three kings day instead of like actually feliz navidad you know what i mean so those are the full boxes and then the colors the beauty the gorgeousness the stunningness like we all know that i love a pink the pinks and the blues together are just my absolute favorite things in the entire world especially like the dark blue like these i think like if i whenever i use this when i do the headers like for sure i'm gonna have to use these two um maybe i'll have to do color blocking i don't really know but either way this is still gorgeous and stunning beautiful all the things and then my no okay and this is the next page and i love these labels like these labels have become my new favorite things because they're like a little bit thicker than like this one and it just takes up like the perfect amount of space when you want something to stand out a little bit more but you don't want it to be like a full and a half box if it makes any sense so i love that um and then also again as per usual with anna of Cafe with anna all the patterns look so well with the colors and they like have parts of the color in them so like this one has like little blue polka dots this one has like some little green in the plaid and then like this one's just straight up pink and this one's just straight up straight up like the gray color um and I think they would look so beautiful and stunning for color blocking which is why I'm just like should I do color blocking and then also just again we're just gonna read mana <laughs> the inventiveness is that the right word of like flipping these things because I was looking at this and I was like oh that might be kind of really hard to like write on but then like she whited out the labels on the inside and then she flipped the little thing so you can actually write on the little thing which I personally really really love as a person who doesn't have scripts for everything yet we're trying to get more sticker paper to become script heavy again and then hopefully maybe at some point eventually get like a laser printer and some foil to foil my own scripts not for anybody else for me <laughs> um but yeah so there is all that stuff and then the gorgeous setting up beautiful bottom washi um and then again like i love that the day covers are pink because pink is my favorite thing and <laughs> this cute little harder confirmation thing i think that's so funny um which I guess like I probably should use this for the week that I'm currently in but I'm not going to because I have like a cocoa stuff lined up from creativity and ink but also like yesterday I bought all my Christmas sweaters for the year and yesterday was November 1st so we're ready um, and then this is the next page with like more labels all that fun stuff and this page has even more full boxes which again I absolutely love um and then like just generally cozy things the 15 millimeter strip and then some more quarter boxes type things and then all the deck of the square boxes the flags and the functional type items and that is it for the holiday mail right is that what it's called I think it's called holiday mail um holiday cheer holiday cheer kit from Cafe with Anna and then last but not least the most beautiful stunning thing in the entire world um so I worked with Anna to do like these three double boxes not the Okoye though okay it's just stunning for me um but like these three and I am so excited Anna is literally the sweetest person to work with um and I am kind of like very excited to see whatever she has in store in the future of her shop but this is her Wakanda kit for the Black Panther Wakanda Forever movie that's coming out on November the 11th I think yeah the 11th um and I'm so excited I think I'm gonna go see it on the 12th I don't really know 100% sure yet because I'm about the tickets but I need to do that like ASAP as possible but anyways <laughs> um so this is the kit and I am so excited so like just ready for all of it and this is on a different paper than like the normal and you'll see when I get flip it over this one has like the squared ones but can I say like the saturation the colors everything is just so stunning um and I'm here for all of it like what whatever paper type Anna decides to go with for like her shop I'm here for all of it because they're both like so stunning and smooth and so vibrant and I'm here for it um so this is the freebie this is like one of the double boxes with like the Mount Pashenga and then you have like just the mountains some what kind of things clouds forest trees in the background <coughs> And then this one has like the waterfall, the ancestral plane, a panther, um, Africa with like black panther, um, like mask in the background, the Wakanda Forever sweater. I think this is from like the Kitness Jess Super People artwork. I could be really wrong. Um, 
but I think it's that one. I stay with the little popcorns. And then I have like a little, um, I want to say, is that like a coaster inside Black Panther? I could be totally wrong. And then like the little necklace. And then Black Panther himself right there, which I'm like, I'm ready to cry. Not even like watching the movie. I'm just ready to cry. And then again, the colors, the saturation, the everything for this kit. I am here for all of it. Um, and so again, like just all of the glitter headers. I think this is going to be either a no, 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 no. I lied. I was going to say this is going to be a no foil spread. That's a big old lie. Don't let me lie to you. Um, because I'm, I purchased the Happy Sticker Designs Black Panther foil bundle in the like blue, greeny, blue, purple foil. I honestly don't really remember what it was, but I remember buying it and thinking like, oh my gosh, this is the most exciting thing in the entire world and we're here for it so I got that one um to go with this guy and then here are the labels and then again like just gorgeous stunning beautifulness the washi I love this like pattern of like the hexagons hexagons to be kind of traumatized me because of like organic chemistry but um they still look really cute and they're still my favorite shape and then I have like more people and I love the way that like Anna we're gonna like talk about this in a second um and then you have like more labels and such on this one but anyways I love the way that Anna like incorporated people going to the movies into the kit and it's like partially about the movie itself and the other partially about like the movie going experience and people being able to see themselves and being able to like visualize themselves as a superhero for the first time in their lives because they have somebody that actually looks like them on the giant screen for them to see and I love that um so we have like one two like four fashion people and like a fashion hand which I love and like we need to recreate those nails at some point eventually because stunning um and again like extra fashion people 15 millimeter strip and then my favorite thing which is all of the <laughs> deco bits the um square off boxes the flags and all that fun stuff so that's everything from anna of cafe with anna 10 out of 10 recommend checking out her shop 10 out of 10 recommend following her on instagram she's literally the sweetest person in the entirety of the world like i cannot oh okay i should mm. yeah she's literally the sweetest person in the entire world i literally cannot and i am ready for it i'm ready to use all these kits and i'm super excited to see whatever she has left in store for her shop so that is everything from cafe with anna let's go ahead and get on to the next shop Alrighty, and so the next shop that I have to show you guys is the Coffee Monsters Co. And I placed this during the like anniversary sale for Helen's shop. And basically half of the reason was like, I almost said Holly Dolly was spooky season type things. The other half of the reason for purchasing stuff um, was this pencil case. Like I am wanting a standing pencil case for so long. Like this one just stands up flat with all your stuff. And like, I genuinely love this. Like it's so cute. It's so happy. It's me and my personality in a pencil case and it holds so much stuff. So like I have an eraser and my Apple pencil. I have refills for the pen that I use. I have like my standard pen that I use for all of my notes. I have all of the eight, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 of the passion planner highlights letter type things I have a pencil um I have like my my special blue pen for when I need to make corrections and then I have a bunch of the like paper mate ink joy pens in different colors just because like if I'm using like a blue highlighter um ah if I'm using like a blue highlighter to highlight a bunch of stuff in my notes I would like to use a matching blue pen for like the headers type of a situation just to like very simply make my notes a little bit cuter and then I have a letter refill somewhere in the bottom of this and I also have a pack of sticky notes somewhere <laughs> underneath this as well my hand is kind of squishing them so I'm like kind of squishing everything together but like having this just lay down flat on the library desk so I can just like pull stuff out and put it back in is my new favorite thing having it be able to like zip up like that and I can like leave it a little bit longer I can squish it a little bit more to like fit into my backpack kind of a thing is my new favorite thing and I love this everybody needs a standing pencil pouch in their lives because it's gorgeous it's stunning it's beautiful it's giving me life so there is that um and I just have to put it in my backpack before I forgot it again let me just re reposition the camera so we can get into the sticker portion so now on to probably what you guys all came here to see <laughs> anyways um the sticker portion of the spread like I mentioned this was during her anniversary sale um so I did get like a couple of different freebies so there's like a cute little lemon um like die cut I think this is a die cut sticker I could be totally wrong because this feels like a glossy type sticker. okay yeah so these are both stickers so there's like a little lemon and there's also just like a little like emoji with the planner and some like candles and some flowers and some tea which is like definitely cozy vibes <laughs> and then um there's this freebie that's like thank you for ordering the august 2022 freebie which is kind of just, like, how old this is um it did take a while to get to me but just because the coffee monsters co is in canada so i think usually it takes like the shipping time was longer because of the sale 
mail and I knew that going in because they advertise that kind of a lot like just FYI it's gonna take a little bit longer to ship which I appreciate them saying that um and then also like because they're in Canada and I'm in the states it does take a little bit longer to ship to me anyways like in the parcel service carrier people things um and yeah was that so yeah so like this is a little bit older and then also it's been sitting in my drawer for a little bit because i haven't hauled anything in a little bit it's currently october and this is from august but anyways yeah so there's like this little emoji that's ketchup and sleep there's this little cloud <laughs> i think this is like slamming his face on a little chair and then i miss my bed which those are all me and my personality to a t and then onto all the stuff that i picked up um i did get some refills for refills some restocks for my spooky season collection type thing um i'll have the video linked up above of my spooky sticker storage so this one is just like some of the coffee cups i wish i would have picked up both of them but i only picked up this one knowing that i for sure wanted more of these ones um but i should have gotten the other shade as well but either way we still love all these cute little spooky coffee cups and then this one's a new to me sheet this is like the halloween reading emojis and i love these to mark like either reading or school or planning or whatever it may be like i could use these ones for planning i could use these ones for reading i could use literally all the rest of them for school this one this one is me for school um so we love those guys the halloween tv doodles because you guys already know that i am a movie person and i love like if it's like halloween tv doodles holly jolly tv doodles summertime tv doodles things like that because Usually I'll get in a mood and I don't know what kind of movie I want to watch, but like specifically for like Halloween and Christmas time, if I just look at like one of these or like the Holly mo Halloween movie bucket list type things, then I'll have like an idea of what movies that I kind of feel in the mood for, if that makes any sense. So you have like Hocus Pocus, I'm for Christmas, The Addams Family. This is a vampire, which I'm going to say is for um, like Hotel Transylvania, but it also could be for like whatever you want. Um, Freddy Krueger, Sleepy Hollow, not Sleepy Hollow, is it Sleepy Hollow with the Headless Horse People? I think that's what it is. Charlie Brown Halloween, Beetlejuice, Casper, Coraline, Ghostbusters, Some House type thing. Is this Frank and Weenie? I think it's Frank and Weenie. Um, that one, what's this one? Practical Magic, Scooby-Doo, A Pumpkin, which I'm going to say is for Halloween Town because it's giving me home in vibes and then of course bride so we love all of these and i got two of them because again i'm a movie person and then i also got the halloween emojis sampler because again samplers are just good to have in general like i could use the mario for whenever the mario movie comes out i could use tinkerbell for whenever i watch peter pan the mummy for the mummy um tooth fairy for the tooth fairy you know <laughs> just use these for a lot of general things in life um i could use the ghost for either some sort of ghost movie or if i get ghosted one of the two <laughs> either one works um so yeah on this guy i have like a pumpkin a tooth fairy a vampire um a, a minion mini mouse frankenstein tinkerbell a mummy a cheshire cat alice a zombie a witch a bee a ghost a cat and then the like three sanderson sisters um jack and sally moana mario a pirate wonder woman and another little pumpkin which i think is like a nice variety of just general halloweeny things but also pop culture-y things if that makes any sense so i love that one and then I got the mini emoji assistants more just like an I knew that I needed it because I keep wanting to look for minion stickers when I watch minion movies and not having any um so yeah that's what this one is for so you have like minion grew another minion and then like a mini with a little banana which I think is so stinking cute so I love these ones um and then Pokemodis kind of explain themselves Pokemon kind of person here um and I'm kind of very excited because on oh, what is it today's the second so in three days on the on the fourth on the fifth one of those two Pokemon Scarlet Violet the switch comes out and I kind of really want to get it but I also don't know if I'll be able to get it because like the pre-orders already sold out at Target and I didn't even know that they went on sale um but then also Pokemon Scarlet Violet the game is officially out on the 21st of November and I'm here for it I'm ready for it I'm waiting so we have Pikachu, Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle um and they're all just in their cute little emoji onesie type things and if anybody knows if these onesies are real in real life let me know because I kind of want them so there's that one and then again just the gamer emoji so you have like some like angry sly looking ones some happy ones and then a like anxious one um and again just love all of them and then the birthday emojis I have like the birthday girls from Fox and Cactus but not every birthday is for a girl <laughs> so I thought these were just pretty like gender neutral emoji character people to have to mark different birthdays or just honestly just different celebrations and things like that and the last thing that i picked up is the halloween e countdown obviously halloween has already passed but i am so late in the planning of things that we don't really think of these things so that's this for to mark the countdown for halloween i usually like to use the same shop for like halloween and christmas time so hopefully the christmas ones come out 
in the next like three months to gauge uh, and that way I can use those as well but you have like again just like it, I like how like small they are because they're not like a full box size like let me pull out this like double box from Capilana like they're not full box size so you can put them like either in the spread or on the bottom washi in a smaller planner like a Hobonichi Cousin um and it would still look really really cute and you just have like days until Halloween and this really cute little font um and then an actual little halloween e type banner which I love I also like this Shrek if we can get some Shrek modis I would lose my mind I would lose all my marbles we would have no more canicas and I would be here for all of it I also should mention that this is the like journaling card thing that came with the order and again you guys already know that I love saving journaling cards specifically for like the back of them I won't use this for like that I will more so just save this to like put a whole white sheet of sticker paper over top of it and then maybe like either for my birthday or somebody else's birthday I'll just put like some cute little pictures and some little journaling type things I already have like a list of like seven or eight journaling cards that I want to do scrapbooking things for um for this year because that's just how many fun and exciting times we've had this year that I actually took pictures for so there's that let's go ahead and get into the next shop. and then so the next shop that I have to show you guys is odd loop and for very obvious reasons <laughs> I had to purchase this kit because you guys already know the Grinch is my favorite movie every year I use a Grinch kit for Christmas week and I'm just here I'm ready I'm excited and this is based off of like the like original 30 minute animated one slash the book kind of Christmas vibes instead of like live action Jim Carrey the Grinch or Benedict Cumberbatch the Grinch um which to me this is like my least favorite Grinch to watch but it's my favorite Grinch aesthetically if that makes any sense also full disclaimer I did already watch the Grinch for I'm gonna say holly jolly season even though it was technically on spooky season the day before Halloween I was selling and I kind of just put the Grinch on in the background because a I know all the words but also b it was a comfort movie and I was very frustrated with the sewing machine but the costumes came out cute. The Grinch is stunning, beautiful, gorgeous and we're here for every single second of it. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get on to the kit itself. I want to say for this one and the next kit I purchased during either the Odd Loop birthday sale or some sort of sale during Odd Loop time and I was just like you know what I don't even know like how I want to use these especially for the The Grinch kit because usually there's like a lot of things that happen during Christmas time so just putting a full box and then using like one of these guys on the back of it as kind of an extender kind of a thing to mark like 500 things that went on during one day is super just like easy peasy lemon squeezy kind of way so we did just get the full kits usually i get the um like i just get the sheets all the cards but we went all out for this one and the next one and i'm kind of really excited for it so there's that so here are the full boxes you have like little whoville the little like scene at the end when they're all singing because they're not sad that all their presents are gone the little cindy lou who like writing down mount crumpet singing with the like that he's coming back because he's good now the grinch's heart being three sizes too small the grinch sliding down at the little chimney the grinch eating the roast beast is that what it's called um max i think this is my favorite food box and i think it's so funny because it's like when the grinch initially puts the antler on max and then like his head falls down because it's too heavy for him i think that's so cute and then the grinch being all sneaky sly kind of a thing um taking all the christmas trees and i love it i'm here for every single second of it i think like the detail that odd loop puts into their kits is absolutely stunning this is a different artist um you'll see like the difference between this one and like the other kit that i picked up there's like a difference in the styles this is like the typical odd loop style and this one is i want to say the same artist that did like the turning red kit for them um but again i'm here for it every single second anyways so there's that these are the full boxes and then these are the checklists so just like regular five checklists with a little weekly ombre on the side and then this one has some icons some flags some labels some canceled rescheduled and then some cute little checklists and this one has half boxes, third boxes, and some more flags. And I love these flags because they're like longer and skinnier. So they can fit into like different weird areas um, and stuff like that. And this one has your glitter headers. And again, I love the pinks, the like greens of the little things. They're not actually little things, but I'm gonna call them little things of uh, these labels. Um, and then some work labels, some squared boxes, the weekend banner. <laughs> it's like um, presents hanging, ornaments hanging type thing the date covers and then some more functional things and some little hexagons and dots and the last page <laughs> and again I think this is so funny um is like just the different patterns some more little headers the three heart checklists and then the uh, bottom washi and I I will say the only thing that I don't like is that like usually since I like doing my sidebar in the 
right side I'd like it was the right side on the right side of my planner um this strip would usually go over there but this time I'll have to put my like sidebar on the left side of my planner which is also like totally fine because it's like a continuous scene of like the Grinch stealing this little train which I absolutely love because it's also a scene in the movie and it's my favorite thing in the entire world so yeah that is a Grinch kit we are ready we are excited and I think hopefully sometime soon eventually I can get the red and green foil bundle from um, Scroll Prints Co to use that one with this because I think that would look really really cute so there is that one and then the next kit I think the only other kit that I picked up um is the Avengers part two kit um and this one has like a lot of other different Avengers so you have like Ant-Man, Captain Falcon which we love Captain America like Falcon as Captain America Blah, blah, blah. Black Panther, Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange, Vision, Captain Marvel, um, Shang-Chi, and then Loki. And I love all this. I love the little like glowy things for their glowiness. And then also just like the fact that these are different Avengers from the first one versus like the traditional Avengers type thing. I've already used that kit, I wanna say like twice in my planner life. Once for sure in my filming life and then once in my before filming life. Um, and then we have it again here. And again, it's just the same format, mostly because I don't know. Oh, there's like a schmutzy on here i don't know if i want to use this like in my functional planner or in my pre-planner for next year but it's going to be used next year at some point eventually maybe for the new atman movie maybe for whenever i feel like it we don't really know but we'll use it at some point um and then again uh, some flags some labels um icons and the checklists the fun quarter boxes and again like the little like just attention to details of having these be like little comic book strips is my favorite thing and i think i have to use those for like very sad things like exam tired whatever like where I can just write like one word in a fun little font type of thing and have it be like a comic book type thing in my planner we would love that and then we have the glitter headers and some little things and I would say like these are thicker little things I think you can still fit four in a full box area maybe you can't maybe just three they're a little bit thicker but I still really like them so there's that and then I cracked up when I saw this so it's like a weekend banner but it's like how in the beginning of Marvel movies it's like Marvel Studios but it says weekend and I think that's so funny and I think it's so cute um and then again date covers more labels hexagons all that stuff and the bottom washi is just like normal comic book pattern with a just generic town and little headers and some checklists so yeah that is everything that I picked up from odd loop um i again i'm here ready for all the things you know i think i do want to use this one for whenever the ant-man movie comes out because ant-man is literally right there um and then i'll use this so i think it'll put us up february of 2023 i think so that one and then um this one i'll be using this year for whenever the grinch comes out and we're trying to only get kits if we have a week to use them i don't know how well it's gonna work out but there's that so that is everything from odd loop let's go ahead and go to the okay so um but where, where was, where was I gonna say? Okay, so now we're in the part of the video where we are getting into all of the mysteries. So I do have the October 2022 mystery from Pink Diamond Planner Co. underneath this mailer. And then I have Creativity and in Ink mystery plus like just some random things that I picked up from her shop also in a mailer. Um, so just swipe out if this isn't really something that you want to look at kind of thing um i will as per usual have timestamps in the description box down below so you can go ahead and just skip to whatever section if you didn't want to watch this but anyway as always you're running for the mystery here we go so when i am on to pink diamond Planico, october 2022 mystery gorgeous stunning beautiful all the things i am so excited so excited to be back and subscribed to the pink diamond planner co mystery because literally literally Tasha can do no wrong. This is Darcy artwork. Darcy can do no wrong. They all are always so stunning and so beautiful. And from being unsubscribed for a little bit, this is the only mystery that I think I've ever been really sad whenever I've seen them come out. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's what we're here for. That's what we're here with. I'm subscribed to the Epic version, which is the biggest version of the mystery kit um, in the premium matte paper, because again, you guys already know that I'm a matte girly, but she also does offer glossy in her shop. And let's go ahead and just, well, let's go ahead and just get into it. So here are the full boxes and I love the colorway. I love the story. I love the theme. I'm definitely going to be using this for like a January to February, like that transition week kind of a thing. Hopefully I don't have anything else slated in there. I think I might have a Disney kit slated in there because of life question mark. Um, but anyway, 
we will be using this kit hopefully somewhere within there before Valentine's Day -y kind of a thing and I'm here for it like the fashion people the little deer the little castle scene with the trees the like tea set all the food like everything is just so stunning and gorgeous and I'm here for every single second of it we have all the deco bits the weekend banner um I want to say this is a newly formatted page I don't actually know um and then you have like some labels some work labels some regular labels and some movie marquees which are my favorite things in the entire world and this page has uh, some labels, um, little things, square boxes, round boxes, and then some more squared off boxes. I want to say this is different. I don't think I've seen this, mostly because these boxes are kind of throwing me off. Um, but it could be totally wrong. <laughs> and then this page has the glitter headers, some sideboard stuff, and then like some two little extra full boxes and the animals in this kit. Like honestly, the little deer and little fox are my favorite things and I think they might be my favorite boxes and I have to use them even before the fashion people I don't really know um this page is my new favorite thing in the entire world because of all of these squared off boxes you guys already know but I love the squared off boxes the little little things the flags we love some flags and I think flags are like what I have been missing in Pink Diamond Planner Co kits this whole time I feel like I've said this before I want to say I've had this conversation already with you guys but anyway so this is the format um and this is the like solids page where we have like some labels some boxes a little washi strip and some little things and the same thing but in patterns and i love these patterns like this peachy with the snowflakes my new favorite thing in the entire world i love every single second of it and this page has like a little hand with a little clock that's giving me like alice in wonderland type vibes um and then the bottom washi which is cut into like the two strips which again i absolutely love um and then the date covers and then oh my lord all of these fashion people are so absolutely stunning so i think this one is like these two are like different variations of each other and then you have like three completely new fashion people which i was not prepared for <laughs> i was not ready for um so you have like 15 millimeter strip beautiful gorgeous stunning fashion people like the hair is too much for me i cannot that's too stunning and i definitely need to use her whenever i use this kit um and then some more little boxes and some labels and then this page with the extra double box an extra color and then some more functional e type labels as well and then oh my lord okay <laughs> we're gonna have the world's biggest struggle bus with figuring out which boxes to use and which boxes to not um because I love everything in here. So you have like a gorgeous, stunning, beautiful tall box with a puffy dress. I want to figure out how can I make that for myself? <laughs> and then the extra color which matches her. So I know whenever I use her, I have to use this extra color type thing, especially because there's a full set of glitter headers. So I can just full send all the way. Um, so there's that one. And then onto the extras. So this is the, what's it called? Not deco functional it's the functional deco not functional deco icons icon things and this has been a part of the mysteries and it's also been like an add-on in Tasha's shop for a little bit which I absolutely love and I love like the variety of the deco because there's like some general ones but also some like very specific ones like these are like very specific but also like then you have like some general movie time one like general hair one it could be like getting ready it could be washing your hair it could be like whatever you want it to be kind of a thing um and I love it I'm here for all of it and then this one again because I am subscribed to the biggest version of the kit it did come with the foil so you have the label sampler which I love this one um the only thing is that you can't use like a regular pen on this so I usually use the micro perm pen from sticker Grew in 03 for any of these labels because it's more like a vinyl -y type paper but still gorgeous stunning beautiful all the things and then the foil bundle is in a like diamond e shimmer format in matte silver which we love so you have like eight different full boxes and then you have a tall box it's four more full boxes and then uh, some headers and then you have even more headers the bows the um like other 50 millimeter strip and then at the date numbers the icons gorgeous scripts weekend banner all that stuff and then at two pages of the bougie boxes which we absolutely love um so yeah that is everything for the pink diamond planner co october 2022 mystery you guys already know i am a fan i'm a big fan i'm the world's biggest fan uh, of this guy and i am here for all of it so it's everything from pink diamond planner co let's go ahead and get on to the next shop Alrighty, and then last but certainly not least, we have Creativity and Ink, and you guys already know I'm here 
for all of it. Um, so this is like a tiny little order plus a mystery from Angela's shop and not mystery, Magical Mailer, the subscription from Angela's shop. <laughs> I am here for every single second of it. So the first thing I want to show you guys is the washi for both of them. Um, so for this one, for the Little Mermaid kit, Angela did, I think this was a collab with a different shop and so like the release before there was like a regular little mermaid one and then this one there's like an ursula themed one and you guys already know ursula's literally my favorite villain in the entire world so the first thing that i picked up were these two washies um and one of them was like an ursula with little poor unfortunate souls in the background and the other one is the cute little eels and i love this honestly i think having them paired up like this with the ursula at the top and the eels at the bottom would be so cute to use in any of the little mermaid spread um which i'm sure there's like bound to be multiple artworks um for little mermaid i know there's for sure the spc one and then key town keaton of key town released a like halle bailey inspired little mermaid kit and i am so ready for it i need to pick that one up the one's like the next on like next paycheck to buy kind of thing um but anyways that is that for this kit um i did pick up those two guys and then i also picked up the matching deco bits and i kind of want to pick up another one just for like the sole purpose of having a bunch of Ursula's because I, again you guys don't even know like I love Ursula. Ursula's literally my favorite character in the entire planet. Um so there's that and then these are the full boxes and again you have Ursula you have the cute little eels you have like little poor unfortunate souls which this box is my new favorite box in the entirety of the world like the detail of the te tentacles coming out of the poor unfortunate souls and then those souls just like right there it's so stunning so beautiful so gorgeous all the things and then you also have like flower flower flounder Ariel Sebastian Prince Eric and Ariel dancing and the little seahorsey that's like the announcer person most importantly <laughs> you have Ursula and the eels and the poor unfortunate souls like they just look so gorgeous so stunning and then the hollow foil of creativity ink like what can we just talk about how stunning that is too gorgeous beautiful all the things and this page has like the half boxes the checklists the um like more boxes and labels kind of a thing and this one it has more labels sidebar stuff and then date numbers and some i always want to say deco they're icons <laughs> these are icons um and this one has the bottom washi, the date covers, um, the little Mickey heads, which I love these for like layering type pieces, and the little washi strips. So that is everything for that order from Kate Dane Ink. Again, like mentioned, it was a tiny order. Um, and then on to the mystery type thing. I just moved my camera, but hopefully you guys can still see what I'm doing slash talking about kind of a thing. Um, where is it? this one okay so this is the november 2022 magical mailer and as usual like it did come with the four washi stripped things so we have like little brooms dancing um mickey's like sorcerer hat and his little robes this is my new favorite washi i think of any mystery from angel shop ever besides this one to be h um but this one i feel like it's gonna be so universal and can be tied in to so many things that like this one will be my first one to go for sure and then i have just like little mickey glove with the red background and that one it gave me like vibes of one of the like super old 500 years ago valentine's day -y type ones if i can find it um like this one so it's like this one but like not the valentine's day -y version and also honestly looking at it it's very different colors this is more like a muted dusty like red color where this is like a very true red color so never mind don't even compare them they're not even the same um but yeah, those are the washies for that guy. And then this also came with a little vinyl of the Sorcerer hat, which I absolutely love. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these vinyls because I already like vinyled up my entire laptop with like the clear stickers from Angela's shop. So <laughs> I can't really do it to my laptop. Uh, so I need to find like other things to vinyl up. I maybe need to get like another water bottle to just vinyl up with Angelo's stickers because I love all them a little bit too much. Um, so there's that one and then it also came with just some cute little deco bits to hollow stickers and then a list pad with the blank cover on it and then this is the kit itself and the same thing for like the Pink Man Planner Co. labels on a vinyl paper. So I do like to use the Microperm pen in 03. Again I purchased this one from Sticker Group but I'm sure you can purchase them like other places as well. Um, so there's that one. And then these again are the gorgeous, stunning, beautiful boxes. It says "Dream a Fantastic Dream," and then you have a little sidebar E type things, and then all the cute little full boxes. So you have like different Mickey silhouettes, his little glove, his little sorcerer hat, his little sorcerer robe, and the brooms carrying the little water, doing the little dance, walking around. You guys can see me, but I'm just like moving and grooving the man so there's that one. And the next page is the like functional page with the date covers, the um 
checklists, I don't know why I can think of them, the labels and then some headers and some more labels. And then this one is all of the deco bits, which I love these and I'm kind of like, part of me wants to save these to use as monthly spreads. Like I feel like this would make a really cute January monthly type thing, especially like with this guy as well. Like you can definitely kind of make these whatever you want them to be kind of a thing. Like you can definitely use them like a weekly planner. You can use them as a monthly planner. You could use them as like a daily type thing. Like I, maybe I should get into daily planning like colorfully with the hobo cousin. I don't know. We're gonna use these for something. But, and you guys will see it on the channel when I decide to do something with them eventually. Um, but yeah, that is everything from Creativity and Ink. That's everything from this haul. Let's go ahead and get on to the outro. Alrighty, so that is everything for this haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below if you also picked up any of these things, if we are going to be planner twins, if you have any foil recommendations, any, like if you did pick up the same things, which weeks you were wanting to use them for yourself. Maybe we will be planner twins if I influence you to buy anything. Let me know all the things in the comment section down below and I will try to respond at some sort of reasonable time frame instead of like six months later. So yeah, that is everything for this haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. As per usual, let's just pause, take a bit of a breather, take a bit of a chill pill and just deep breath in, deep breath out, and repeat after me. I will give myself space to learn and grow. It's always fun to go outside of your comfort zone, outside of your bubble, but also give yourself room to, I don't know, allow for the world to do whatever the crap the world wants to do um and just remember that we are all products of our environment we're all doing what we can with the information that we have and everything is always just constantly changing around us and we're all just constantly trying to adapt to whatever the world wants to be um so just don't forget to give yourself some space give yourself some room let yourself breathe for a little bit and just generally do whatever you need to do to be the most amazing and sparkling being i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys